Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 59. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 58 to 62. Hey, this YouTuber said they wanted to create an aged accounts receivable using a pivot table in Excel. They exported this data from some accounting system. Uh, it wasn't a typical one. It wasn't QuickBooks or anything like that. It has a built-in feature. But they weren't able to do this inside of their accounting system. Here it is, days past due. There it is. Customer, customer name, and amount owed. Let's click someone here. We'll use a pivot table to do this. And in the pivot table, we'll just group the days. I'm going to click somewhere in here in 2003. You have to go to Data Menu Pivot Tables. In 2007, you go to Insert Pivot Tables. Um, the keyboard shortcut in 2003 is Alt DP. And actually, in 2007, this brings up the old three step um, wizard Alt DP. Cancel. In 2000 and Seven, the keyboard shortcut is Alt N V T. Alt N V T. Let's try that again. Alt N V T. And there's just one step. It says, where is the range? It's a table name, 2007 table, so it's it's automatically got that name. I'm going to say in this exist existing sheet, I'm going to scroll over a little bit and up, and I'm going to click in that cell right there. So I'm going to click in. Uh, F4, and then click OK. Now, uh, I'm going to scroll over here. In 2003, you simply take days past due and drop it to the row area right there. I'm going to Control Z. In 2007, you say days past due, and you drag it to the rows area. Then you right click the days and point to group. Let's see if I can do this again. Right click and point to group. And we want to say start at 0 and go all the way up to 750. And I want to group by, I'm going to go 800. So it looks like these are days. So we have people that are over um, or two years late on some of these accounts. You better just write those off. But we're going to group by 100 and then click OK. And sure enough, look at that. 0 to 99, 100 to 199. Now, interesting note about grouping. If you group and the source data is integers, it will do it this way. It will say 0 up to 99. And that label means 0 all the way up to 99 will be in this group. If you have decimals, it won't do that. It would say 0 to 100, and then 100 to 200 here. And 100 wouldn't be included here, but here. We'll actually talk about that in an upcoming video. So there you have it grouped, and then it's easy. You have to, um, you could see the row labels down here. Um, I'm going to take customer in 2003. You'd have to click and drag, and you can see that gray bar. You can see the, the blue s vertical slash in the icon, um, and that's how you would drop it in 2003. In 2007, you, you actually click the customer and drag it right down here below days past due. What it's done is it's here's 0 to 99 days, and there's the customers in there. Now let's drag the amount due down to the values. In 2007, of course, you just drop it into the data area. I'm going to drop it into the values here, and then I'm going to close this. And there you have it. There's your um, aged accounts receivable. You can see a 0 to 99. We have a bunch of customers and what they owe. And you see how it says sum right here. But actually, since there's these are all unique values and these are all unique values, it's just listing unique values. But this was the interesting feature in the pivot table that we grouped. And we come down here. Now we have 100 to 199 days. These customers are in that group with this amount owed. Come down here, 200 to uh, 299, et cetera. So that's how to do aged accounts receivable with a pivot table in Excel. See you next trick.